Christian 15213. Kendrick Green did well. I figured out his issue. He's too nice. He needs to get mean. Maybe he should slide into more DMs. <laughs> I don't even know what that's all about. Um, no, Kendrick played well. He was actually starting out there with the first group, right guard. Everything that took place with Kenny Pickett, Najee, Jalen Warren, all of that success that we, you know, put on that first group, Kendrick was very much a part of that at right guard throughout all of that. Yeah, looked the part, looked good, man. <clears throat> then second unit, he moved over to center. Thought he played well there also. Um, to me, I don't think it's that Kendrick's a nice dude. I just thought once again, he had an opportunity where he wasn't facing a covered up, you know, he wasn't covered up. And that's the difference of when he's at center versus three, four teams. He has that nose tackle or somebody that's a big body on him, somebody that can physically, you know, be imposing on him. I feel like that's when he struggles the most. Whereas at guard versus the Falcons last night, he didn't face the three technique a lot. He didn't have somebody directly over top of him that was a big body guy. So it was perfect for, you know, Kendrick's skill set. And I thought that was also why he looked really good. But salute Kendrick, too, man, for the fact that mentally he still had to show up. Everybody wrote him off, right? He had the bad snap against the Bills. Played bad against the Bucks. It's like, man, he still had to go out there and put his best foot forward. And I thought that he did a really good job with that. Now, I don't know if it was enough to, you know, move him and make him stay on this roster or not. But... In terms of him feeling good about what he what he did last night, I'm sure he slept really well because that was a really good performance by him at multiple positions in the stadium. Unfortunately, I have this gut feeling that he's going to make the team, though. No, I don't care about all unfortunate. If you play well, you play well. That's how I look at it. If you play well, good. Stay. If you don't play well, we're gonna move on from you. He doesn't play good consistently enough, but like that's that's the part. Yeah, the consistency part is definitely it. Yeah, like I don't trust yeah. him out there with the first team, and like <laughs> I was worried at first second. I'm like, why is five three out there with yeah. Kenny and all these guys? But to to his credit, yeah, he did show up and play well. All I'm saying is Tomlin must like him enough to put him out there with those guys because and then for, play for him like, at center for the, for the second this, team that whole time too. Because the thing is like. Football players, Kendrick Green isn't a bad player. The issue with Kendrick is he's a size mismatch. The highlights that everybody sees are when those things happen. That's the only thing. And because he plays a position where it's not easy to just point to like a statistical value to determine how good or not good he is, people just assume he's the most terrible player ever. And it's like, he's not. The reason why Coach Tomlin and his team likes him and keeps him around, he going to show up every single day. He has the same energy every single day. He going to fight like a son of a gun every single day. He's going to be fundamentally sound every single day, except the one thing that he deals with is when he got a big body on him and he don't get his hands on him first, it's a wrap. That's his biggest flaw. That's his biggest flaw. Now, it's a flaw that is very hard to hide for him specifically, and that's like why it keeps going on and on and is like lingered on to where it's at. But in terms of him versus some of these other players that I personally view as like bad players, not naming names like that, but players that we view as like bad. I just think like it's like multiple things skill related where they struggle. Whereas for him, it is literally one thing and we can see in stadium, right? 4-3 4-3 team versus 3-14. Him covered up versus not covered up is the biggest difference with Kendrick. He still will block the same players. But if the dude is right here on him versus right here on him, that's the difference for Kendrick. And that guard versus some of these teams, he gets that advantage right there. Whereas when he's at center, it ain't always available to him. And then you throw in a bad snap. You can't have one bad snap. And I see you get blown up three times, which was Bucks game turn over to the Bills game, that's the part where it's just like, yo, it feels like you're way worse than what you are. It's not, though. But that's his big thing that he struggles with. Unfortunately, you can't bank on that every week, though, either. All right? Hey, Falcons or, or Niners about to play y'all. Can y'all leave Kendrick uncovered? So that way he could be, like, a really good player versus if you put a big dude on him, now we over here, like how you were saying earlier. I was a little nervous. Trust me, the game. The only way yeah, I was like, nervous. why the hell like, is 53 out there? I get, it. I get there. it. Trust me, I get it, bro. But is this that's, a glitch on my TV? That's his, that's his biggest issue, bro. 
if it's a big body dude on him, and until he can figure that out, and I still don't know how he's gonna figure that out. Usually you can be like, oh, go with the cut block. I, it's already cut with you at center, man. You snap. That, that ain't this, you know. At guard, you can't cut every single play. So that's the part for him. He's still trying to figure that out, man. But yeah, like I said, it's not gonna surprise me if he's still here, bro. It would not surprise me right now. Yeah, if I had to make it would not surprise to me, bro. Fifty-three yeah. man roster I you, bro. that might be it. I, I might <laughs> throw Kendrick Green on the team. <laughs> I, I, I just I don't I think you put him though, out bro. there with the first team. Now I know Dotson I, I get you, bro. Was hurt Daniels it. hurt? No, no, they just held Daniels. Okay. He wasn't hurt. He just, just held him. You know All how right. that goes. Fine, but yeah. anyway, I don't think you throw Kendrick Green out with the first <laughs> team if you don't like him a little bit. Would you have put him out there? No. Exactly, because you don't like no. him at all, right? And that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not, Coach I, T. Dude, are you kidding yeah. me? Like, I know we were facing the Falcons' second team, but. Still. Holy. It, it doesn't matter. I'm With I, Kenny out there 1, and Najee and Jalen Warren. 1,000%. I get you. 1,000%, bro. But that's Coach T, though. Like, in terms of, like, what I was talking that's how he's looking at him right there. And I bet, I'm not in that meeting room, but I bet when he challenges Kendrick, that's what it always is. Are you a big dude? Are you just going to be looking little today? Like, it's got to be along them lines because that is the one thing that has consistently shown on his tape from his rookie season. That's the one part that has not changed. You don't see him look lost in space. He's not a guy that's not athletic enough to pull. He doesn't blow assignments. Oh, man, play is going right, he's going left. He's not that. But it is literally, if it's a big body that's lined up directly over him, that's where the struggle happens. And then it's a regular season, you can highlight it because we game plan. Preseason, we don't game plan you, right? So he got the luck of the draw. That's that. But if it's a regular season, Deke, you don't even have to have ever played or coached defense or anything like that. If you're watching Kendrick and you know that thing, what you finna do if you San Fran? And you see him out there, you gonna find your biggest, strongest D lineman. Say, hey, man, that's your matchup. So, yeah, dominated, Check. and then that's that's it. Well, yeah, he's not gonna be starting week one. He he's, he might not make the no. team. Now I just yeah. have that weird feeling that he is. <laughs> What's the wrong? But if he does make the team, obviously he's <laughs> our backup. And then uh, the, the, the backup, backup. Even bro. if Cole got hurt, yeah, I think you're still okay. maybe trying Herbig or Daniels or someone else at center. Uh, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Like it's all fun and games now because it's preseason. Why did you like, say if he started week? Like, bro, I, I didn't even go that far. How you get that far? We get that, we don't go well, that You were far. talking about 49ers game plan. Yeah, against but I was just like, it's a hypothetical. It's like not like a, oh, let's really do this. Like, no, we don't really want to do that. It's a nightmare. That would not be the most ideal situation. That would actually put us in a concerning situation. Very different. Very different, man. 